We got a tie game in the bottom of the sixth inning. Go ahead, winning run on second base. Hit to center field. Great throw from the center fielder to go. Oh, she jumps over the catcher's glove. Safe. Walk off. They win. Michaela Rapp with the great jump. That's something that you guys missed. Unless you know her personally or are watching this game, I think you missed the 11-year-old phenomenal walk-off leaping run by Michaela Rapp. So that's something you missed that you never planned on watching. And this is everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Thank you very much for tuning in. This episode is brought to you by Jake Storielli. He's my good best friend. All right, here we go. We got the UFA Atlanta up by one against Dallas. 15 seconds left. Dallas has not won yet this year. They're looking to tie it. They get a lane. Boom. They tie it up with 10 seconds to go. 18 apiece. Is this the game? They're 0-10. They're not going to go 0-11, right? Well, with 10 seconds left, Bobby Lay just throws this Hail Mary up, and it's just going to catch and hover and hover and hover, and they jump up, and that's Brett Holsmeyer. hope I'm saying that correctly, Brett, who comes down with the catch to win. Watch this. Tips it up, pancakes it, grabs it on top of the defender's head, basically secures it and wins the match. Oh, my goodness. Dallas falls to 0 and 11. And Brett Holsmeyer finished with the most receiving yards, 428. No other player had more than 272. So he is just crushing it. Atlanta now 9 and 2. Up next, we got Calcio Storico Frentino. If you've never seen this, it's crazy. So this is red versus blue. And the front lines, they just box each other and do mixed martial arts. So this is the blue team is Santa Coche, Azuri versus Santa Maria Novella. And yeah, they do this. It's like the four quadrants of Florence, I think. I could be wrong. I've done a video on this before where the info is right. They're going to try to get the ball into the other end, right? It's all sand. The front lines... They just fight and they box each other. It's a 50-minute match, and they're just trying to fight each other and tire each other out and pin each other down. It's tied up seven apiece, and we're in extra time now because the 50 minutes has expired. That guy gets tackled. He loses the ball, and you see that? That's why you want to have the upper ground when you're pinning someone down. So he's going to get tackled, and he just throws the ball backwards, and that red dude is on top of that blue dude, so he's able to punch it out of there because he's got him pinned down. Some ancient Italian games, medieval stuff that they still do. Now he's got an open lane. Next goal wins because we're in extra time. And he's just going to throw that all the way down. Blue's got a beat on it, but they just hold him back. It goes into the end zone and red wins. That's the game winning goal. Eight to seven. They're going crazy. They got the jester pants on. They were boxing. I mean, you could just get pinned, and then you're pinned for the whole game. Just tosses it up. Now, Blue is trying to get a beat on it. He can't because the other dude's holding him back, and they win. The red team, which was Santa Maria Novello. That's Calcio Storico Fiorentina. Crazy event. Crazy event in Italy that they do. Uh, and you missed it. You missed it, or you saw it. You missed it or you were watching it, okay? Didn't just blip on your radar and you're like, maybe I saw it, maybe I didn't know. There's no maybes there. This one, maybe, it's the Strongman Classic. It's Mitchell Hooper. He's trying to axle press 480 pounds onto the belly, up to the chest. Look at his neck in this next scene. Ugh, it's wider than his head. Can he get it? Got to straighten the leg. Got Can't do it. Can't do it. Puts it down. Announcer says, you're going to do it? He says, yeah, I'll get it this next time. Don't you worry. I'll get it this next time. Okay, the world record. This would be the world record. The world, previous world record is 478 pounds in 2021. He's going for 480. Spoiler. He's about to get it. It gets so loud they broke the decimal record at Royal Albert Hall after he does this. He puts it up. You know, belly to chest. The neck is wider than the head there. And bam, straighten the legs. There it is, hoop. Nicknamed the moose. The moose hoop. Let's go. Crowd goes crazy. Come on. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Nuts. Second and third place for the Axle Press didn't even reach 430 pounds. And here's the moose breaking 480. 
80 pounds. His first win this year, but I think, from my notes, he's been having a phenomenal year. So good job to the Moose. And to round it all up, we got a sport that I didn't know existed. This excited me very much when it came through because it's it's handball, which is on display with the Olympics right now, but it's beach handball, women's beach handball, the IHF, Women's Beach Handball World Championship, Argentina versus Germany. And see that spin move goal? Nice by number eight. Beautiful for Germany. We don't know her name because the roster's not updated. And she spins and she throws it in. You're like, wow, some pizzazz. That's nice. Let's see, see if Argentina can counter. Now it's six to six. Argentina's got it. Jumping, leaping. What a save by the German keeper. In the air, kick save and a beauty. Eight to six, Germany leads. Argentina trying to get back in the mix. Okay, number four's got it. Wow, just trucks over. Turnover to number eight. Spins, throws. Ooh, gets landed on. Ow, ow, ow. Now, I was thinking, I saw the spin move, and I'm like, is that necessary? And then I thought, well, you know, she kind of doesn't have momentum here, and you can't, you can't take another step because you can't touch the ground ahead of you. So that is a way to get momentum on the throw to jump and spin and toss it in there. So yeah, that's just strategy. But then I read the rules. A regular goal is one point. An attractive slash spectacular goal is two points. In flight and spin shot goals are two points. If the goalie scores, it's two points. And if you score from six meters out, it's two points. So it's actually a way to get more points on the goal by doing some stuff. Uh, there's So there's judges as well as like officials. She's hurt. She's got to go to the sideline, stretch it out. She's not actually hurt, guys, because she's back in now. It's 18 to 18, nine minutes left, and this is an awesome play because you think, okay, we're going to get another spin goal. She's going to jump in and get it. It's a fake. She builds room. She tosses it back to number eight, who she's going to spin. Oh, it gets saved, but official says, you landed on her again. Stop landing on her uncool so that's a penalty i don't know what happens next but that was oh yes i do she gets a free shot and the sand is so uneven i didn't know if you'd be able to trust it to bounce but she trusts it she's one with the ball so germany is up 20 to 18 now argentina spin move saved by the german keeper again it looks like if you have a net beach access and pool noodles you could play this with your buddies. Like a great game. Just throw out there and play. You get so tired. The ocean would feel great afterwards. Here she is. Boom. She just ran forward. I'd be interested to see if she touched the ground before she threw. Who cares? Germany's up 21-18. Seems like it's always been a two to three point lead. Argentina trying to get back it. Trying to get back it, I said. That's not nothing. And I think... That's going to round out the 10 minutes of play. And Germany is going to win the championship. They retain their title. They beat Argentina. Argentina went into the final with nothing to lose. They had never finished higher than seventh place. So claps to Argentina. Louder claps to Germany. Number eight. A lot of spinning moves. I mean, all of her goals seem to count for double. And that's... Everything you missed that you never planned on watching. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you to Jake Storielli for sponsoring it. Vote, fan of the week. Who you got? Who you got? Who you got? Who you got? Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Love that you guys enjoy this show. I enjoy making it. I mean, that's some wild shit. You just got to know about it, you know?